Yeah. No matter how long this guy takes off of, off of the Smash Brothers, it, he comes back and it's the. S yeah, he's. I don't think he's ever been super active. I don't yeah. remember, but I do know that like in Smash Four era, he did have like our best placings out of state. Really? Yeah. That's like whenever he went, he'd make an upset like every time. That's crazy. It was kind of crazy. Yeah. And he's definitely well known in like. Not that, not that I really know about them much, but definitely a well-respected name in like the community of Duck Hunt players. Absolutely. Very <laughs> legacied and storied player. You, you have to put respect on him, no matter how much time he spent away from the game or okay. who he's playing or what, what tricks he's up to this time. I'm but, glad uh, to learn that the Swagger off is, in fact, not happening. <laughs> no offense. You can go whoever you want, Omar, but you are the only person who is competent at playing this character that I know of. There's a... I guess I guess the elephant in the room that we oh have to gosh. talk about is that um Oh, oh my, God. my gosh. I guess I'm not gonna get the chance to talk about it, but <laughs> what better time than when he's literally on the respawn platform? Sonic is on the screen. Sonic the goo. Oh the, the, the Joker. I forgot Shulk, to bring that up. Cloud he has Boy been, player. He's, he's playing a, Sonic he's right now. He's been in a constant character crisis and Sonic is his current pick. Yeah, well I mean We'll, we'll see how this pans out. Definitely definitely looking to be yeah. what you'd think a slow-paced match, but if you look at the numbers, I think a minute's passed and two socks have been taken. That's, they're on pretty good pace right now for uh, yeah. for some high-octane stuff. Not the kind of thing you'd expect <laughs> to hear from From Stuck this matchup, Sonic. yeah. Yeah, definitely. But, I mean, it's not just the matchup. Sometimes you got to look at look at the people piloting the characters. We have yeah, <laughs> I think it's actually very difficult to be aggressive with Sonic. Just because, like, his tools are simply built to run away. Yeah. Like, I have tried. That's what, uh, I'm, this is what I'm trying to say. Is I've tried playing that character. You lose if you run at people. So it's very scary. Yeah. But what Spin Dash is very scary if uh, you're not exactly trying to go into someone with it. Because it's hard to catch. That's yeah. the big deal. It's hard to catch, and it's like, it's like, you know, sure, it's a lot of movement, but it's like, oh my. it's threat range. Did you see that yeah. can angle? Yeah, tossed it up as soon as he saw Sonic. He just shot it with off. the gunner. These are the these are the tricks that don't go away. You can <laughs> you can no matter how many days you're spent working and not playing Smash Bros. Some of these tricks they get so deep in the blood that they don't disappear. Zagu getting a little a little <laughs> maybe too antsy to get rid of that gunman. Can't blame him, but I mean, oh, up air killing, nice. Got killed for it. And also, I think I think a big deal in a match like this that we haven't managed to see yet is I feel like this is the kind of thing where like you run away with leads very quickly. But yeah, no one's guys, been able to hold one yet. Exactly, both of these guys have reversal have reversal almost off of the immediate next neutral interaction. So not really giving anyone the, the time or space to run away with the game. Yeah, we're getting big damage out of Omar here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Cover the platform in case DI up. Throw the frisbee in case he holds. Pulls a little flatter. Just very active. Always so much stuff going on in the screen. This is looking tough. This really is. But Zagu, is that going to reach? Okay. Wow. Zagu has gotten both the stocks he's taken off a of little... <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, <laughs> but that did look very funny. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely did. I'm not going to blame you for that one. Whoa! Oh, back here? No! Oh my he god. almost... Oh my god! Oh. I can't blame him for it. He saw red, and I mean, sometimes you have to take it. When you're down like that... That was the one thing he could have done to steal that side. Yeah. Spin dash back air. It's actually pretty hard to input. Because you have really? to turn... Yeah, you have you to be reverse the, the spin dash. The or not the spin dash, the uh, homing attack. Back, you have to... Is it, is it a B reverse or you have to back B it? Back B probably. I don't know the input because I... What? <laughs> it might not even have momentum to be B-reversed, so it might be the same Yeah, the same I don't know what it is, but you have to reverse it and do uh, off of Spin Dash. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, but um, honestly, if you looked at like the hits out of neutral, I definitely think Ozone was probably getting more of them. But Zagun? Yeah, one of the hard things is that it's very hard to play around the can as Sonic. Yeah. Because typically... Especially when you want to like rocket yourself into the... Yeah, because it, it controls zone super well, and typically the counterplay around it is turning it around, but Sonic doesn't have a single move. He can just poke it the other yeah, direction. Yeah, no, you're actually right. Because I'm trying to think what I would do. Just like the, the closest thing is like F-Tilt. E like but that's easily hard. Easily usable aerials or like quick pokes or jabs to like turn around. But yeah, Sonic, that's doesn't, Sonic doesn't really have many of those with like those kind of hitboxes that make them super applicable. Oh, that. Okay, yeah, that's also one of the weird parts about Sonic, where I'm like, he's not that good at approaching, is that unlike every other character in this game, pretty much, he can't really, like, do the landing aerial thing. Yeah, yeah. 
Because his forward air is super strategy. slow. His back air is slow, but it is good. Yeah. And then well, his up air doesn't hit the ground. God. He closed that stock out well. That was that was a very very good flow chart and edge guard from him. I agree. Usually with edge guards like that, it's very easy to see people take it 80% of the way, and then you know, it comes down to like, oh my, they both. <laughs> they're just taking socks back and forth. No one has been able to hold leads yet. This is a crazy set. This is this. It's very easy, to, and this is what I was saying earlier about the event itself. It's very easy to look at this just like as a Smash DG link and see that these things happen, but being here watching them, players of these caliber fighting winners round two in sets this, like this. This is winner, winners round two. I am very impressed with how well Zagu is doing with Sonic so far, though. So I know yeah. he just picked him up recently. Yeah, I think this was his little, uh, this was his quarantine project, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I like that up tilt. Still, still, uh. still, still kept in the corner, but uh, didn't quite cover the roll that came after. Oh, I can't believe he went over the disc. Yeah, smart, smart bit of knowledge if you knew that beforehand. That'd be crazy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where you're playing this matchup. Yeah, I know, right? To have little detailed interactions like that, lockdown. Oh, is he gonna connect this? Wow. Absolutely. He has not missed. He one doesn't of those. miss those. I, I should really stop. <laughs> Opening the option of not. Ooh, the pressure! But, uh, it's real tough, because if if you hit someone's shield when the can's there, it blows up. Yeah. So that's a real tough situation, because yeah. you can't grab in the air. <laughs> yeah, that kind of empty pressure is kind of how the, the stuff you have to threaten to really try to get them to be scared and leave their shield. But if it's always empty pressure, then, you know, what are you ever scared of? Just not really able to get in. We saw Zagu start this game with an early stock, but ever since then, it's just been a lot of Ozone able to hold his ground well. <laughs> that disc stayed around. Look at up here. Poor Can. <laughs> I caught on the platform. Oh, he almost used it for shielding again. I think he's, he's cooking something up. He knows something. Ah, uh, they both might know something. <laughs> it, like I said, it's a tough situation for Sonic. Oh, he turned it around? That was that was some... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was some big brain stuff right there. Oh, the option coverage with just being oh, able to ha have something that, that makes an area less desirable and then being able to cover everything else with the physical hitboxes of the character just looks so strangling. This is a crazy amount of rage. Yeah. This, this is. This is definitely also. Oh, that was I so say close. all this, but we're definitely in like F Smash and Game Three territory. So <laughs> I guess the only way to see is literally what happens. This is so scary because I think Ken will just oh, kill him. Okay, that's, that's it. Yeah, that last hit of up there. That is it. the big move. <laughs> you have to watch out for on that character. Yeah, 100. 100. Crazy hitbox. It's all disjointed now. The yeah. duck's a sword. The duck. The <laughs> duck's a sword. Shout out <laughs> Duck Hunt from Fire Emblem. I was about to say, my Gotta favorite Fire Emblem character. One of my favorite Fire Emblem characters. He's the most unique moveset. Yeah, really is. I can't, I can't say I remember too much of uh, TNT and good old <laughs> Fire Emblem, but. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't really have like a, like a dancing blade kind of thing. He's got, he's got, got a frizzy. Oh, they're set. moving out. It looks it, like, oh, a, like they were about to get Hawk Quark on stream next, bro. <laughs> Robin gives him a thumbs up for guessing the right Hot one. Court. Sorry, for knowing I, uh, the right one. I'm actually going to pull up the bracket myself so that yeah. I can see because I am now yeah. getting... Also let people know what upset there's been. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I want to see. I'm curious too. We saw a lot of upsets starting right from round one um, last week. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to see. Are they... That, sorry, for everyone at home, I think Advo and Linus are playing right now, and I just yeah, oh, Boo Bear's really here. It's piqued my interest. Hey, what's up? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if I can uh, get this bracket running. Has Cork been to too much since quarantine? Um, a few Ann Arbor tournaments. Uh, I think like one TCTH. I think that's really it. So no so, so, so not really, and I think this okay, might be. Okay, so that's gonna be crazy because 
he is yeah. number one in Michigan right now, technically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is the, the the beginning of like the offline PR. So I think this is first tournament since all of that has happened. Mm -hmm. All right, so for the fellas at home, Daybreak over Smection, um, Hawk 2-0 over Trisket. Um, Kepler took it 2-0 over Campbell. Blade's here. Blade. So this is actually took it 2-0. Oh, Blade went to something else recently. I think he might have won it. 